Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, mag-unboxing tayo and review ng Mophie Wireless Charging Base. So titingnan natin kung ano yung mga design features niya and kung paano siya gamitin. Tsaka yung charging performance niya. So try natin siyang i-compare with the standard wall charger. Okay, let's start with the unboxing. So ito yung box niya. Very clean and simple look. So, dito sa likod, makikita natin na designed lang to to work with iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and 10. Bala design kasi to in collaboration with Apple para sa iPhone. Pero, pwede nyo naman siyang gamitin for other chi enabled device like yung Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Yung Qi nga pala, ito yun, yung ganitong logo, yung may small na Q and I. So, yun yung global standard ng wireless charging. So, open na natin yung box niya. Okay, right at the top is the charger itself. Color black siya at meron siyang Mophie logo dun sa gitna. So, meron siyang rubberized finish dito sa charging surface, pati dito sa base. So, non-slip siya. Hindi rin siya masyadong mabigat and manipis lang siya. Okay, tingnan naman natin kung ano yung mga kasamang accessories niya. So, meron ditong power adapter and yung instruction manual. Kahit huwag nyo nang basahin yung manual kasi yung instruction naman makikita nyo dito sa diagram na to. So, just simply plug the charger, lagay nyo lang yung phone and then you're good to go. Okay, so nandito yung power adapter port niya. Nakikita nyo ba siya? Maliit lang kasi siya. Anyway, so ayan, i-plug na natin yung cable. Ayan, maganda yung fit niya. And then, sa opposite niya is yung LED indicator. So, charge na natin tong iPhone XR. Ayan, so umilaw na yung LED indicator. So, it means nagsa-charge na siya. So, kung napansin nyo, wala siyang lag time. Once the phone is in contact with the device, may sa charge na siya instantly. So, isa pang maganda dito is yung positioning ng phone. So, pwede nyo siyang ilagay at any orientation as long as nandun siya sa gitna. Okay, now itry naman natin siyang i-charge with the phone case on. So, nag-charge naman siya. Actually, pwede siyang mag-charge up to a few millimeters away. So, kahit meron kayong phone case, mag-charge pa rin siya as long as hindi siya masyadong makapal and hindi metal. Ngayon naman, tatry natin mag-charge ng ibang phone. So, gagamit tayo ng Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Okay. So, yan. Gumagana naman siya since she enabled nga siya. So, ibig sabihin, pwede talaga siya sa ibang device, hindi lang iPhone. Okay, this time, tingnan naman natin yung performance niya. So, i-compare natin with the standard wall charger. Try muna natin yung Mophie charger. So, it's 50% charge. Time now is 2.11. So, after 30 minutes, it's now 68% charge. So, meaning, nag-charge ng 18%. Ngayon naman, try naman natin yung standard 5 watts USB power adapter. Okay, so it's currently charged at 75% and the time now is 3 o'clock. So check natin later after 30 minutes. Okay, and 3.30 na, so it's now charged 92%, so up by 17%. So, meron lang silang 1% difference. Ayan. So, in terms of performance, halos same lang naman sila nung standard wall charger. Okay, this time, punta naman tayo sa pros and cons ng device na to. So, una is yung safety and convenience. Safe and convenient siya dahil nga wireless siya. So, it means clutter-free charging and since wala ng cable, so lesser na yung risk for electrical faults like short circuit dahil sa frequent plugging and unplugging. Also, meron siyang auto-off feature kung saan once fully charged na yung phone, magsa-shut off yung charger so no need to worry about overheating ng phone battery. 
Another good thing about this charger is yung LED indicator and yung non-slip rubberized surface niya. And yung 360 degrees phone placement. Kasi sa ibang wireless charger, meron lang designated area or position ng phone para mag-charge. Then, as mentioned earlier, pwede rin to gamitin sa ibang Qi compatible phones. And lastly, meron din siyang foreign object detection ability. So, hindi siya mag-charge pag may na-detect siya na um, non-compatible device. Yung disadvantage naman nito is hindi nyo pwedeng galawin yung phone or hindi nyo siya pwedeng gamitin habang nag-charge kasi kailangan in contact siya with the charger. So, yun, medyo hassle lang yung ganun. And then, yung price naman niya is medyo expensive pa siya kasi hindi pa nga mainstream talaga yung wireless charging. So, mas mahal siya. So, ayun, yun lang guys. Thank you for watching and sana nagustuhan nyo. If yes, please give this video a thumbs up and click na rin yung subscribe button and yung bell para updated kayo sa mga susunod pang videos. Thank you so much!